Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup tutorial using all things from the drugstore. I thought this would be helpful because um, you can get all these products in one place and they're not that expensive and it's just a really easy look to do. Just before we start, yes I have had my hair dyed um, and if you can see any kind of brown bits around my head. I only had it done yesterday and I haven't yet washed my hair like hair again yet because I obviously had it washed yesterday. Um, so I have a few brown marks on my head. Um, so sorry about that. I just had it dyed really dark brown. I've also got a bit clipped back just so that I can so it's out of my face for the video but it does make me look super pale because it's so dark but I love it and yeah it just covers my ombre up that I had ages ago that keeps coming through. So I don't know what colour this is because I had it done at the hairdressers. So yeah, but that's enough about my hair. I'm going to get on to the tutorial now and I'm just going to kind of talk it through rather than doing a voiceover. So for foundation I'm going to use the Revlon Colour Stay which is actually, I only have this drugstore foundation. This is the only one I actually own. Mine's in 220 Natural Beige. Whoa, that was a lot on my hand. The thing I hate about this foundation is that it doesn't have a pump. I have to pour it out and I always end up with far too much in my hand. Then I have to try and scrape it back into the bottle. And I use this on the Real Techniques buffing brush. Um, I just kind of buff this all over my face. This is sort of um, very similar to what I would do for college. Um, if you'd like a college slash school makeup routine then let me know and I'm sorry if I'm looking down I'm looking in my mirror that I've got set up um but yeah let me know if you would want that um because I can do that for you also leave any other video requests down below um the videos that I am going to do that I just haven't got around to doing yet that a lot of people are requesting is a makeup collection. I'm going to do that after my birthday because um, I feel like I'll get more makeup for my birthday so if I do it after that it'll be more correct I guess. So that's the foundation done. I'm also sorry about the lighting if it keeps going weird. It's so difficult for me to film because it's kind of, it's daytime outside like it's like half past three but like because of my ipad like the lighting changes all the time and it's kind of annoying but i'm just using the collection last imperfection concealer on kind of a flat brush and just concealing anything that i need to conceal obviously you can miss out steps of this or add more steps of this or whatever whatever you would like So that is the kind of base of the skin done. Now I'm going to move on to brows. In my last makeup tutorial, my Valentine's Day one, a lot of people said that they didn't like my eyebrows. Now, this is just the way I do my eyebrows. At the minute, they are in need of waxing and I am getting them done on tomorrow, actually. Um, but this is just the way I do mine. I'm not saying this is how you have to do yours or anything. So I was considering kind of cutting the eyebrow bit of this out and like doing them off camera, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So I use the Sleek Brow Kit in Light for my brows. I recently bought a new one of these. This is still my old one though. Um, but I use the wax, which there really isn't much left, to kind of sculpt out my brows. I'm just going to brush them through first because they're kind of crazy. Some days I will just use the powder, um, especially after I've had my eyebrows done because I get them tinted when I have them waxed. So they're usually quite like dark then. I've got a hair stuck to my hand. Of that. So I just use a little brush for the wax because I don't know I just I just always have done. So I try and not put the camera in the way, uh, the mirror in the way. I don't do anything special. I just draw around the natural shape of them, which at the minute they are quite thick. So sorry about that if anybody doesn't like it. I'm 
really scared as well because when I film this video I'm going to the doctors um, to have my jabs for Egypt because I have to have some jabs to go. This uh, this is the first time I've filled my eyebrows since I've had my hair dyed and it's weird. I feel like both of my eyebrows are different shapes. Like when it's due for the time for them to be done, they both seem to be completely different shapes. And this eyebrow I'm working on now is like crazy. Oh, and it's my birthday week today as well. Everything's exciting. That will probably be the next video you see after this will be a birthday haul. Because the reason I've been able to film lots of videos is because it's the holidays, the half term holidays. Um, so I know they kind of look a bit patchy but they don't look like that when I finish. I take the, what's this, Real Techniques brow brush and I love this. It's quite a thick brush so if you have really thin brows it's probably not the best. But I just take this in the powder and I don't understand why I use so much more of the wax than the powder because I think I use more of the powder like, but yeah. Anyway, I just use this to like set them into place and yeah, I just, I'm not really happy with my brows at the minute myself, so sorry if anybody, if my eyebrows offend anybody, then I'm very sorry. So that's them kind of done. I'm just gonna brush them through now with a spoolie. Just so that they are, the products are distributed evenly. And then I take the Maybelline Brow Drama, which is kind of like a just brow gel, which really holds my brows. I just feel like I have to scrape a bit of the product off because I think sometimes there's too much product on the brush and then it can make your eyebrows look super horrible. But I just, just a little scrape, sorts that out. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the eyes and I'm just gonna move a little bit closer. For the eyes, I'm gonna be using the MUA Hall of Fame palette. And I really, really like this one. This is my newest MUA palette. Um, and I'm gonna make this quite a natural look. So I'm gonna start by putting this shimmery colour here which is called Catacomb don't know but it's a shimmery colour I'm just going to use this on the Body Shop eyeshadow brush I'm just going to apply this all over the lids I need to move my mirror I can't see it anymore I'm just patting it on. It's just kind of a very shimmery light colour. Just a good start for the look. Now I'm going to take this brown colour at the side of it called China um, and I'm just going to use the Real Techniques Duo Fibre Eye Brush to just blend this into the crease quite lightly. I don't want a really heavy crease look. I'm just going for a little bit. A little bit of definition there. And I like this brush for when I'm not wanting too much crease colour because it does apply it really nicely and blends it well. The pinky colour up here and apply this um, to the outer corner of my, well not the outer corner, just kind of like the outer half of my lid just so it's a bit more colour than just the shimmery colour mm. 
And then on the same brush I used the shimmery colour on. Well that pink colour is called Rose Ash and I'm going to take the colour Bear which is this one. I just apply this under the brow bone. I think they should stop putting mirrors in these palettes. Because it'd be easier, wouldn't it, if they had mirrors in them? So that kind of mixes the shimmery colour and the not shimmery colour together a little bit. And that's the eyeshadow done. Now I'm going to take a mascara. This is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume. I think the MUA Mega Volume one that's in a pink tube is very similar to this. Um, if you wanted a bit of a cheaper alternative. And I'm just applying this to the lashes. You could curl your lashes if you wanted, but I'm too lazy today to do that, so I'm not going to. Now I'm moving back on to the final bits of the face, um, using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 220 Natural Beige, I'm kind of nearly all out of this, I'm just this flat top brush, I'm just pushing this all over the skin. I personally always use powder because I think it makes my makeup stay on longer, I don't really need it too much, like I don't have oily skin or anything, but I just feel it helps my makeup stay on. And sometimes I think it looks better as well. Okay, then I'm going to apply a bronzer. And this is going to be the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer in 51. I could apply it on the Real Techniques Blush Brush. And I'm kind of just going to apply it as a bronzer. Kind of like bronzing up the cheek. And the nose and the chin. The other cheek. And across my temple. Just as a kind of general bronzer. I've been getting back into wanting to film makeup tutorials recently. Like until my Valentine's Day one I hadn't filmed one in so long and now I kind of always want to film them. <laughs> and the final step for the face is going to be the Sleek Blush in Rose Gold on the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. This is a dupe for Naz Orgasm. It's a very shimmery pink colour. I'm using this because I'm not using a highlighter. Um, I'm just applying some apples of the cheeks. It just creates a really nice kind of glow, and I really like it. And then for lips, I'm going to apply the Rimmel Cape Moss in 08, which is just a really nice nude colour. This is my favourite kind of nude pink lip stick from the drugstore. And you could add a gloss if you wanted, but I'm just going to leave it there. So that is the finished look. I'll insert a picture at the end because you can kind of see it better when I get it in a picture so the lighting's kind of better but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed um and make sure you leave your quest down below and subscribe and <coughs> and everything like that so yeah I'll see you on my next video bye